hello welcome back to my channel um, this is another walkabout video I did in a very impromptu um, charity shop hunt in uh, Baddo, Baddo in Furness which is in Cumbria uh, I was there for an event and basically I got there really late on Saturday but I still had like a sneaky like half an hour so I went charity shop hunting uh, and I stayed over and I went on um, Went to the event and then on the Sunday morning I did a few charity shops because there was a couple that were open I managed to find. Anyway, yeah, so I went to this huge um, cancer research place and it's massive. It's like one of the big, one of the big warehouses and uh, yeah, it was mainly everything was like three pound. All these coats were three pound. I actually picked up one which I found later had a hole in it. Really peeved off about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be returning that. Um, yeah, they had like different sections where it was like everything was either two pound or or coats were like three pounds. So I went straight to the coats, found this John Collier uh, coat, which I'm going to show you later, which I bought, which was actually quite good. Um, yeah, this is just the state of affairs these days. Why have DVDs a pound? Everybody knows they're a dying media. So it's like, I mean, why have that much? Why look? I've just, I did a scan to show how much. If you have this many DVDs, you're pricing them wrong. You know, I mean, you can't even sell them for like bundles. I mean, the, the, when CEX offer them at fifty p, you know, you're doing something wrong. The books are actually not that bad. Um, I did check out on some of the um, uh, what's it books and. They were they were all right. <laughs> they were like two for a pound. Like this whole middle section was like two for a pound on non-fiction books. But I didn't have time to be honest. I did have a, a quick breeze over them, but yeah, nothing amazing. There was no like Harry Potter books, unfortunately, in the fiction part. But yeah, I mean, look at the size of this place. I tried to like get everything without without being too suspicious. But like, the, look at that in the back. In the back, it was like one of those Argoses where everything was in the back. But basically, yeah, there was people on the computers in the back. eBay and prices. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, they were like they were like checking it as stuff that were that were alright, and yeah, it's it's quite nice. It was a very clean store. Now in Barrow, there was this huge one on like an industrial estate, and there was a little one, and the little one had an offer on, um, and I didn't actually go to that one. It was only like on the Sunday when it was closed, ironically. Uh, that I found out that they had an, uh, that they had deals on in this smaller shop. I was like, oh god damn it! It was like buy one get one free on clothing. So, but yeah, I actually got a few bits um, for myself as well, which I'm quite proud of. Oh yeah, these uh, toys. Oh my god, these toys. I, I looked through them like literally anything with a Disney stamp was three or four pound, and it wasn't anything good. It was like really generic Winnie the Pooh boring stuff. Uh, yeah, so a bit peed off about that. Oh, uh, Papa Pirate, yay! Um, to be honest, I'm not paying three pound for it. It's, it's when you can get it for like fifty p over the summer at a car boot. Then no, I'm not paying three pound for it. Um, I'd rather rather not miss out. Um, yeah, so I was checking all all the little bits because sometimes oh, I was looking at the top at some of the games and I did see a Pharaoh game, but it was a Disney Pharaoh game and they wanted three pound for it and I opened it and like it was obvious all the bits were like broken, were not broken but missing and like there was sellotape wrapped around bits. I was like, don't you check? You've got that whole thing in the back and you're not checked this game. Yeah, so it was a bit. Yeah, it was very hit and miss. This yeah, this shop was a bit hit me, sorry. Um, yeah, and to be honest, if, you, if you've got all of this stuff that's not shifting, it, it basically looks tat, then, you know, you're going to have to do like a sale, like a 50p sale or something. Um, yeah, so this is a Deborah store, I think. This is on the Sunday when I was hungover, so <laughs> sorry for the footage. Um, yeah, and it, it was all right. It was like, it saved my bacon because out of the charity shops that were supposed to be open. I think there was four were meant to be open and technically only three were. <laughs> so I was a bit peeved at that. But yeah, I managed to spot a British Heart Foundation of all places. Um, and yeah, I actually got some stuff from the British Heart Foundation. That's how desperate I am. Me, British Heart Foundation. And it actually had a sale on. What? That's when you know you're in like Bizarro World <laughs> with the Brit BHF <laughs> have like a sale on. <laughs> so yes, this is me traipsing through Barrow <laughs> and uh, yeah the people were really nice actually and I really enjoyed it it's just I wish I would have come earlier on the Saturday um, oh yeah um, this British Art Foundation right I, I was looking at a book and I don't think I showed it oh I nearly did um, it was a um, a book a Harry Potter book it was one of the new ones one of the new editions and it was £3.50 <sighs> 
£3.50 and yeah I, I think you'll see in a minute a book, a Harry Potter book, a fifth one and that was a pound oh no it was £1.25 so yeah there it is it's £1.25 and it's a hardback edition it's not that bad actually it was, it was alright condition but it was one of the older ones one of the more collectible ones and yeah I was a bit mm, and yeah I've made this kind of deal with myself never to pick up a Harry Potter book if it's more than £1 um, because it's just not worth it at the end of the day um, I mean I think maybe £1.50 I don't know but yeah this um, this British Art Foundation had a bit of a, a sale on and uh, I managed to get a couple of bits, which I'm going to show you a little bit later on. But yeah, I was trying to pick up more toys, mainly because toys have been selling really well for me. I don't know how everyone else is faring. I kind of focused more on... Oh, look at that kaplunk. I was almost tempted about getting that. But yeah, I was, uh, I've been picking up a, a lot of clothes since Christmas, and I've been focused on clothes and, like, you know, sportswear. But, like, yeah, and they have been selling, obviously. But, yeah, I've wanted to pick up a bit more toys and balance it out a little bit but you know it's it's not a bad charity shop this considering it's a british heart foundation <laughs> uh books are still like ridiculous oh there it is that's what i bought oh, da -da. i'll show you in a minute <laughs> yeah i thought i lost this footage this is from the deborah and if you can see there's a playstation one there and it's like 25 pound and there's also a wee um bundle there and i wanted one of the games in the wee bundle but the wee bundle was 30 odd quid i was like oh for god's sake charity shops how dare you um yeah they, that's a renew that's a that's a like a community charity shop and it's only open on monday tuesday wednesday crazy um yeah so anyway i'm just gonna go over what i actually bought i bought this uh, duplo lego set and this um suede it's called suede s-w-a-d-e uh polo shirt and they don't actually sell that well but it was mainly for me but yeah if i don't particularly like it i'm just gonna resell it for like a tenner um yeah this lego duplo it's full of like duplo in it as well so i might put that up for like 15 quid plus three pound postage Mm. Okay, uh, I picked up some Maya. Um, Maya sells actually quite good. Um, this this is more like a jeans though, and I've never actually had that. But I paid up four ninety nine. I was sweating, <laughs> considering if you know me by now, anything over a pound, I'm like, <laughs> um, yeah. And a guide London. These don't do very well individually unless like they're really different. I might try putting this up with different. This was two pound. I think it was fifty percent off, so it was like four pound. Um, but yeah, it was it was two pound and. Uh, yeah, guide isn't a big seller, isn't a great seller for me. Um, yeah, but I might bundle a lot together and see how I do. Okay, this is the John Collier. Um, it, it looks grey, but it's actually like a it's like a grey blue, and it's really nice. It was only three pound. It was from the uh, cancer research warehouse place, <laughs> and yeah, I checked, and they can go for all right money actually. These John Collier ones, there's nothing wrong with it. I've checked, and there's no holes, no buttons missing. Yes, I might try like twenty five quid, just see how I do. Yeah. Okay, possibly my find of the weekend. It's a it's a gym bag and it's head. And again, if you know me by now, I love these bags. They're so retro, so early 90s. Oh, I love it. Like my mum's, I've actually got one at my fo feet now because it's got all my uh, little bits in, <laughs> uh, my gym bits. Um, but yeah, I've sold a couple of them, usually like 18 to 25 quid plus postage uh, added on top. So they do sell and they sell within like the first cycle. So this one, it doesn't, the only thing it doesn't have is like the shoulder strap, which I'm a bit peeved about. Like, um, yeah, but I think I might put this up just plain old 20 plus £3.65 postage and just, you know, have at it. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites. This was on sale. This was £3.49. So again, it was something that I did pay up for, but it was half price in the British Heart Foundation. So you can't complain at that, can you? Okay, I'm going to leave some of the sound on on here because you can hear the seagulls. And this was like really nice. It was like a little mural about the ship shipping dockyards. I just want to say Barrow is a really nice place if it, you know, there was a lot more people there. Um, so yeah. There was a lot of charity shops, except some of them were short. So, and because it, it was Sunday, and I'm an idiot, and I didn't get there on time. But yeah, yeah. Thank you, Barrow. I will be back if I'm ever there. And one of the locals called it Costa del Barrow, which I thought was hilarious. If you know anywhere else in Cumbria to go, I mean, I know there's Carlisle and Kendall. It's another one. It's like towns. But if you are from Cumbria. No, give a shout out down below and uh yeah ulverston that was a place we went through oh that was that was a nice little like villagey kind of town place yeah sorry <laughs> i'm gonna go now so bye bye